I'm in a car with Lawrence. And we've got mountain bikes in the back. We're on the way to Sutton Bank, a trail centre that neither of us have tried before. And we're gonna go meet Nick. We haven't seen Nick in ages. So today we're aiming to do the Paradise Trail, which is listed as a red trail, but I think it's more natural rather than single track stuff. The views and the scenery is apparently amazing. There's a lake. I hate you. out today this is perfect weather we're 20 minutes into this ride and we are on the top of the Yorkshire Moors like I said at the start of the video this trail center isn't really a trail center it's all very natural a few gates to get through it's more of a cross-country gravel style route you could definitely do it on a gravel bike uh, but we're out today haven't ridden the mountain bikes enough uh, I've put a dropper on this since we last spoke so a nice opportunity to get to know this bike a bit more get used to the position and the uh, levers on the handlebars and stuff just have a good day. Bikes, mates, good. One, two, three. How's your head? Head's all right. Yeah, I'm surprised. So we thought uh, last night I'd show Lawrence some of Newcastle, the big market in particular. Yeah. It's one of the highlights. So the there was a lot of interesting stuff going on there last night. People yeah. watching, it's probably one of the best locations I've ever, Absolutely. ever been to. Yeah, Newcastle blew my mind last night. We were saying you should set up a live stream and just uh, people, just the sights that you see Don't down that them. road. Someone's gonna nick my idea now. Yeah, that is a good idea. It's a good idea. Cool. say this is exactly what I needed regular viewers of this channel will know that I've been a bit unwell the last few days haven't been enjoying the bike and I'm sure a lot of you will have experienced the same thing when cycling is your thing and suddenly you can't do it anymore it has a big effect on your head I never deal with being ill very well at all now though I'm in the best mood ever So I think it's fair to say we are, we have all been pleasantly surprised so far on this route. I was ready to be disappointed after reading online that it's not really mountain bike trails, but this day has just got better and better. Some of the stuff back there was quite technical. I think you'd have a great time as long as you didn't turn up with like a really heavy enduro bike for cross country stuff. Sutton Bank Paradise Trail, impressed. So here's the new slash old dropper post this is a 31.6 diameter seat collar but a 27.2 dropper post because that's what i had for my old bike and we put a shim in so i could use it and i thought it would look really weird it actually looks fine it looks really weird mate oh 
Have I got a pump? No. Have all three of us come out with no pump? Yeah, I... I mean, I purposely didn't because I thought one of you two had one. Yeah, same. <laughs> so I did it. So I'll be all right, right? I'm just sad for Nick, who's punching. We're not very good cyclists, are we? No. No. We all just assume that each other have stuff. You know, I make videos sometimes which are like, Top 10 things that every cyclist should definitely <laughs> yeah. always take on a ride. Yes. Yeah, I should listen. I should watch those. You should watch them. It's madness. I want to bring some people here, show them how, how awesome it is. There's not many like uh, routes like this, like trails, where you have a bit of everything like this. Yeah. And especially we've got, I mean, we've got the nicest day of the year, basically. It feels like 20 degrees. Madness. Alright. <laughs> yeah, how was your ride? Yeah, really good actually. Really, really good. Great ride, Adam. Yeah, nothing went wrong. No, I had everything I needed to, to ride a bike, really. What's that noise? What do you mean? It's a weird noise. Oh shit, I got a puncture. It's alright, I'm so close to uh, so close to the car park now. So. Yeah, it's like, it's like two minutes. Oh uh, yeah, I mean... Good I timing. Even, I didn't even notice, to be honest. <laughs> uh. Do I dare look at this? I very trustingly... Oh, it's wrecked! My lovely new camera. Not much you can do though, is there? <laughs> it got the shot, I'm sure it got the shot. So some of the <laughs> rearward facing footage in today's episode has been from this, the Insta360 ONE RS. And we put it on the back of Lawrence's bike and I had it in 6K. Well, it's just got all the pixels, isn't it? So let us know what you thought of that footage in the comment section down below. It may have immediately got mud sprayed on it, but that's just the nature of mountain biking. I've made myself ill again. <laughs> I need to stop riding my bike. That's the problem. As usual with this, there's an affiliate link down in the description down below. So if you want to buy one of these, use the link and I'll earn a very small portion of revenue. I feel as if this camera will never be the same, Lawrence. Check out the aftermath of this. This is a behind the scenes look from uh, yesterday's video, which was cutting up bike locks. This is how the diamond secure lock stood up to seven angle grinder discs. I think they're your standard like metal discs, not diamond ones. We didn't really get that far through. And bear in mind, if you do cut one of these, you've got to do two cuts to actually get the bike stolen. So yeah, I could probably just keep using this lock. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos this week where I'll be avoiding riding my bike. Really